Hello everybody and welcome back. We're going to read the extras. Well, I like to call them extras, but you can call them whatever you want. I'm going to read a recipe, a pledge, and playing games. If you don't want to watch it, that's completely fine, but I'm just doing it for you guys. Have you ever heard the expression waking up on the wrong side of the bed? It means to wake up in a grumpy mood and it happens all the time. And I have a shirt sure here to get people, my brother, and believe it or not, Winnie, ungrumpy. Just give them a sincere apology and double chocolate chip cookies first thing in the morning. In case you need someone to get ungrumpy, I'm giving you my special recipe. Chocolate double chocolate chip cookies recipe by Mallory McDonald. Mallory McDonald. Now you can make this recipe if you want. If you don't want, that's completely fine. I might make them, but I'm not sure. Cream together. Two six sticks of butter. Three-fourths cup of white sugar. Three-fourths cup of brown sugar. And add two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla to the what you cream together. Combine and mix in two and a half-fourth cups of flour. One half teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. Now add one... 12 ounce bag of se semi-sweet chocolate chips, 1 12 ounces of milk chocolate chip, and 1 cup of chopped pecans if you like nuts. Spoon dough in onto non-stick cookie batter sheets. Onto non-stick cookie batter sheets. Set oven to 35 degrees. Bake for 11 minutes. Cool on rags, put on plate, and serve to grumpy people. Watch them smile. In case you're looking for a recipe to make your parents come home from a trip happy, I have a recipe for that, too. All you need to do is make sure you don't do anything while they're gone, and that will make them unhappy. Trust me, when I tell you this recipe works, trust me when I tell you this recipe works every time. I hope you like my recipes. Next, we're going to read a pledge. Even though I make cookies, really delicious ones, and apologize to Max this morning, I could tell he still doesn't believe me when I that I that I was going to stop snooping. So this afternoon, I made a pinky square. Pinky square. Swear. Why can't I talk with him that I would never do it again? When we were done, Max gave me a does a pinky. Square swear really mean anything? Look. So I gave Max so I gave Max more than a pinky score swear. I gave him a pledge and it went like this. And a pledge by Mallory McDonald. Now you can put your right hand on your chest and say it along with me or you can you might you might want to listen to me and if yeah. I pledge of pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Max and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under Max, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all that it will never snoop again. When I finished pledging, Max shook his head and looked at me like I was crazy. He told me that pledge made absolutely no sense and that all this making and pinky swearing and pledging wasn't really necessary. He said the only thing he really wanted was for me to leave him alone when he's busy with other people. I winked and asked him if he meant certain people in particular. Max rolled his eyes like I was being annoying, so I double triple promised to do that. Then I handed him the flag I made and told him he could keep it. Max stuck it on top of his bedpost and we watched it flap in the air conditioning. Then he looked down and smiled at me. I think things that 17 Wish Pond Road are back to normal, at least for now. Playing games. If you're looking for something fun to do with your friends, it's always fun to play games. Hide and Seek is one of my favorites. I don't know, I don't think you should try it playing like I did. I don't think you should try playing it the way I did. But there are lots of fun ways you can play. Hide and Seek. One person is it, everyone else hides, it counts to 100 then starts looking. The first person found, found becomes it for the next round. It keeps looking until everyone is found. 
Usually, there no one gets surprised, but everyone agrees that the last person found had the best hiding place. If the person who is it gives up looking for everyone before everyone is found, or he or she just yells something like, come out, come out wherever you are, and that round is over. Way number two, sardines. The first time I played it, the played this was at last summer camp last summer at camp it it's really fun one person hides everyone else counts then starts looking for the person who's hiding when each person finds the person who's hiding he or she hides with that person the last person to find the group that's hiding is a loser and has to hide in the next round way number three midnight this game is just hide and seek but you play it outside at night Whoever is it starts counting out loud at the time on the clock up to midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and so on, while everyone else hides outside. The person who is it shouts midnight and starts looking for everyone. It's really fun to be it in this game because you need to use a flashlight to look for anyone. Way number four, bloody murder. This is my favorite way to play. It's kind of like playing tag but a scary cool name, but with a scary cool name. One person hides while everyone else counts, then looks. When someone finds the person who is hiding, he or sh she shouts bloody murder. Then it becomes a game of tag where the hider as it. Everyone has to run to a home base, and the last person that it, ta it tags becomes the person who hides in the next round. If you don't like any of these ways, you can make up your own way to play. Whether games you decide to play... Whatever games you decide to play, I hope you have lots and lots and lots and lots of fun playing them. Talk to you soon. Big hugs and big huge hugs and kisses, Mallory. And that's the end of that chapter, three chapters. So I will see you when I read the next chapter. Hint. It will be another book in this Mallory McDonald series. So, bye everybody. Make sure you check out the new book. Bye!